All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to take apart a Nook Color. My girlfriend recently broke the LCD in hers and I needed to fix it. And I looked around and saw no guides anywhere on how to do so, so I figured I'd make one for everybody. First thing, you're going to need a Torx T5 screwdriver and some small object to pry open the back. I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver. I realized I forgot to tell you, so I'm going to do a voiceover here. Uh, there are going to be two screws where the SD card is. There will be little black pieces of paper over them. Just remove the black pieces of paper with a screwdriver or something. Go ahead and take those out. They're also Torx 5. You're going to need to do that before you can take the back cover off. Sorry about forgetting. So we start with finding some area where we can get that under to pry this out. And it comes out pretty easy once you get the first few. There's the back. Here's where the T5 comes in. We're going to have to go ahead and take out all of these screws. And there are going to be four things of tape on the corners, or three, I guess, corners. Um, and those are going to need to be just peeled back. Alright, I think that's all of them. Now what you're going to do is pull the front off. And this, I've already pulled off. There's some stick under it, some adhesive tape. So it comes off easier for me than it probably will for you. But uh, just keep pulling. There are a few hinges. There's some tape around the sides of the LCD. Pull it right off. It won't break or anything. Now you're going to have the volume pieces pulled out of there. Power button, pull it out of the opposite side. And they should just slide right out. Oh, accidentally hit the power button. Uh, yeah, I guess you can see the LCD not working properly. I should also really power this off. Okay, we're good. Um, next, go to the back and start to live, lift this cover off, making sure all the screws are gone. Okay, and you'll notice as you're pulling it off, there are going to be two things keeping it attached. They're the volume buttons and the battery pack. Now here's where you're going to need your flathead screwdriver or some other thing that can do what I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see this. Right there you can see the volume button. Actually, that's the battery. Just get under the cords, flat, and very gently pull up. And on the other one, I usually, it's, it's very loose. You can just pull lightly and it will disconnect. We can move this out of the way. Don't need it anymore. Okay, if you set it down like this, by the way, it'll stick due to the uh, stick outside the LCD. So just be careful. Um, next thing for taking off the LCD we are going to peel back this tape. And this is where we got to be really careful not to hit anything. Lift, there's a little flip. I'm not sure if you can tell it's a switch. Just lift it up and pull it back. And this will allow you to pull the connector right out. The rest of it is pretty easily peelable. On this side, we've got this long strip of um, silver matte tape. Go ahead and start the peel with whatever you're using. And now down here, it's not the same as this where it needs to pull out. This can just be pulled right off. So take that off. Now it's sticking a little. Okay, here's the LCD. One thing you're going to watch out for, there are these two hinges. Make sure they get under the wire as you pull them out. That would be bad if you snapped that. So start to lift it off. It's sticking a little bit, but then pull it out sideways. And you're good. So there is the LCD. It is a LG display, seven inches. Set that right there. And that is a fully disassembled nook. 
If you need to know how to reassemble it, I'm going to do it right now, but I will probably put it in a separate video, so go to my channel and watch that.